One of the objectives of the Universitat Pompeu Fabra is excellence in teaching and research to promote knowledge transfer to firms and society in general and improve innovation. Following this objective, the UPF participates in national and international networks of uh, technology transfer, including the Catalan network Technio. The UPF has uh, currently seven centers of uh, uh, technological innovation Technio. Three of these centers are related with health and experimental sciences, and four are related with technologies of information and communication. The APP is a Technio group that stands for, for uh, bioanalysis, pharmacology and proteomics and it's constituted by three research groups, one dedicated to bioanalysis led by Jordi Segura, another one for proteomics led by David Andreu, another one on human pharmacology led by Rafael de la Torre, myself. Uh, the Technio group uh, has a, a technological promoter, is uh, Laia Roca, and uh, the strongest uh, points of our group stand for uh, good uh, analytical methodology as well as uh, the, our capacity to perform uh, clinical trials, phase one, phase two, uh, clinical trials in humans. Uh, our main projects are actually uh, the development of vaccines in veterinary medicine, uh, also the new developments in analytical methodology to detect uh, new dope, dope agents and uh, finally, the, the development of uh, therapies for the treat, uh, for treatment of uh, intellectual disability in some genetic diseases. The GRIP is the research program on biomedical informatics of both the Pompeu Fabra University and the IMIM. IMIM is the research institute of the Hospital del Mar here in Barcelona. The mission of the GRIP is uh, developing and applying new computational uh, methods and tools for studying the biological phenomena, in particular the human diseases, their prevention, diagnosis and pharmacological treatment. The GRIP has a long tradition in collaboration with the pharmaceutical industry through EU-funded projects and, in particular, uh, through the Innovative Medicines Initiative. To give you a couple of examples of the type of projects in which we are involved, one of them will be ETOX. ETOX is a project in which uh, there is information sharing among the pharmaceutical companies and the use of this information for developing new methods for predicting drug-induced uh, toxicological events. Another project in which we are involved is IMIF. This project deals with uh, the exploitation of millions of European uh, electronic health records for allowing better biomedical research. In the group, we are interested in studying patients with chronic obstructed pulmonary diseases and in particular, the presence of other diseases that appear in these patients. For that, we are developing bioinformatic approaches to uncover the molecular mechanisms that underlie the presence of COPD comorbidities. Neurofarm is a group specialized in the transfer of the knowledge. Our uh, customers are mainly the pharmaceutical companies and companies that are uh, going to develop new technologies for animal research and with a particular focus on affective disorders, uh, chronic pain and drug addictions. And we offer new behavioral models where we can evaluate all the different aspects of drug addiction, we can evaluate the manifestations of depression and the behavioral manifestation of anxiety. And with regard with chronic pain, we are particularly focused on osteoarthritic and neuropathic pain. We also offer sophisticated uh, microsurgical techniques in rodents and neurochemical uh, techniques to evaluate the mechanisms involved in this pharmacological, in these uh, behavioral responses. A 
as a measure of the technological transfer capacity of our center, uh, Neurofar, it's worth saying that we have more than 40 research projects with the uh, pharmaceutical industry and other industries, uh, three, two models of fertility and three patents. As part of the activities of a, a Technio promoter, as is my case, uh, I have the role of uh, uh, disseminating our research capabilities to identifying the uh, technological transfer opportunities and to establish uh, bridges with the enterprises that can also uh, valorize our research. And this is a clear return to society.